Now the last tutorial wasn't wrong, but it wasn't entirely correct. I mean, it would limit you to only electric guitars. I will be using that way. I will, I will say, for some of my compositions. However, um, I found the really correct way of um, making your sound 3D, and this will work on any instrument, whether it's um, an audio recording or whether it's just a MIDI track. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, I like saying. That. So this is how it sounds now. Let me just plug that out so that you won't get any feedback in your recordings. Now, um, what you're going to do is we're going to go down here. Oh, sorry. And then you're going to go to delay and then sample delay. This is actually ridiculously simple. Let's put it on my headphones so we don't cause feedback here. So let's hear it first. So obviously, I don't know why I did that, but like you can actually hear anything, any difference. But um, this is, all you do is you put one up, either left or right, up a bit, and then you just can hear the difference straight away. And yeah, that's literally all there is to it. And you know, you can do it for the other one or the same, etc, etc, etc. This way is a lot more powerful. It's a lot better. But like I said, the other way I will be using if I want to beef up my electric guitars. And like I said, I love my electric guitars. But, um, you know, corrections need to be made where they need to be made. Um, hopefully that will never happen again because it's rather embarrassing. But, you know, um, both ways are, u are useful. Like I just said, like, four times now. Um, yeah. So as usual, thank you very much for watching.